What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we've just had the Season 9 card drop. Uh, absolutely a lot of cards here to go through. I'm going to go as fast as we can. You can see we've got two brand new sets. We've got the Space Jam sets, which are very cool. We've got Space Jam, um, the, the new Legacy, and then we've got Out of This World as well, as well as a bunch of new Invincibles. I'm going to quickly go through these as fast as I can and give you guys my opinions on them. First off, we have the Level 40 Reward Julius Irving. Definitely be going for this card. 99 Offense, 99 Defense. 6'6 six, six at the small forward shooting guard position. If you guys were in my stream today, you know that I really wanted a shooting guard, Julius Irving. Um, he's 99 everything. The offensive rebound and defensive rebound are 98 as well. He has every um, Hall of Fame badge except for tight handles on gold and then deep hooks and drops there. But if we go here, you can see he also does not come with blinders on PS5. So make sure you do have your Hoff blinders to chuck on him when you get to level 40. Uh, we move on to Tony Kukoc, who is the... Uh, he's, he's via limited, I'm pretty sure, this season. Um, and Kukoc has always got a nice jump shot. You can see here, he has Ray Allen on very quick. So it's always going to be juicy. 99 three ball, um, 99 across the board. He's going to be very good as well. We look at the PS5 version. No blinders again, it says on here. So he does have a lot of Hall of Fame badges. Um, 67 in total. 610 and can play the small forward. I'll definitely be picking him up and chucking him in the lineup. Now we have Ray Allen as well. 65 Ray Allen. Here's the unlimited reward. I'm pr I will go for him, obviously. I'm not going to use him at all. Um, you have a look here. Tight handles. He's got, I mean, he's got brick wall and gold if you want to use him for that. Um, but nothing else really going for him. He is quite nice. I mean, 97 interior defense on 6.5. But at the end of the day, 6.5 is too short to be around at the moment. Uh, let me quickly get rid of these tabs. We've got Dennis Rodman. Now, I, as soon as this set came out, Dennis Rodman stood out to me quite a bit. This is a Dennis Rodman with a 97 three ball, right? This is invincible Dennis Rodman. 6.7, 6.10 wingspan. Take that into consideration. We can play him at small forward. So 6.7 at small forward. It's probably just a bare minimum of what you can have at that position. You can see he is missing blinders, fade ace, ice and veins. You can put them on if you need. Has every defensive badge. 99 speed with ball. 99 speed. He is a very good card. And I'm going to be interested. What, what's his jump shot? you got set shot 17. So he's got Wilt and Tony Allen. So it's not the most fantastic jump shot but I'm sure we'll be able to move through there. Jerry West, once again, he's not a card I'm not going to use at all. 6-2. It's pretty much useless. Um, you can see here, pretty much 99 on everything. But at the end of the day, if you're a Jerry West fan, absolutely pick him up. But to be fair, no one, no one's really going to be using Jerry West a whole lot. Grant Hill is one of the most looked forward to cards in this set. 6-8 at the shooting guard position. You can put him at shooting guard here. Um, you can see the badges here. He's got 68 total. He'll be on the triple threat on line boards. 98 overall three ball. 99 speed. 99 for all of the defense and rebounding. So that is an invincible Grant Hill. Definitely look at picking him up if you can. Now, this is the level one reward for this season. Isaiah Thomas, 99 across the board. Pretty much of him as well. 97 interior defense for Mr. 5 foot 9. Bear of the day, he is 5 foot 9, and there's nothing else to really say about him. 65 Hall of Fame badges, a brilliant free card to pick up if you're new to the game. Now, Mr. Roy Huchimara, I, 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 can, I can never pronounce that name right. 6 foot 8 at the small forward power forward position. Um, now, interestingly enough, shot IQ doesn't impact a lot, but a very interesting stat that is quite low there. 93 speed with ball and 86 ball handle, so very, very minimum ball handling for him. A 94 speed, maybe. Maybe it's a bit slow for the small four position, but that is up for you to decide. A 92 three ball, so not the greatest. He does have jump shot 55 on very quick. Um, Vince Carter, my man Vince Carter, did have a, um, a lot of good cards coming out recently, but this card is also quite good. I just want to quickly compare him to the other one. Let's see what these difference is. Compare him to the level 40 reward, sorry, the, um, the, the reward card he had. And you can see he's just a bit better. I mean, the post moves, um, his driving dunk, obviously 99. So he is better across the board. He is a better card, um, but if you want to pick up Vince, definitely go for that. Now, Paul Pierce is a card that I was excited for. 6-7 at the shooting guard position. 98 three ball. Has a few gold badges across the place. 58 Hall of Fames together. And Paul Pierce on very quick, as we expected. Uh, 95 at speed with ball. So that's quite nice. Um, and over, I mean, 87 interior defense. Probably not the greatest for this time of year. Maybe look at upgrading that position a bit more. Allen Iverson. Pretty much like Jerry West and Isaiah Thomas. Not going to be useful. Six foot. Um, does have a 98 three ball. Um, let's quickly have a look at his PS5 here. You see, he does have blindness. So that is a bonus as well. 99 speed with ball. 99 speed. Going to be a very fast card. But unfortunately, this time of year, he is too short. Hakeem, a large one. Invincible Hakeem. A very exciting card to look at. Seven foot with a 7-3 wingspan. 99 three ball on this card. You can see he has set shot 18 on very quick, which is his and Mark Gasol's normal jump shot. 
there. Um, does he have blinders? He, he does not have blinders. Ankle breaker, you can see there, he has every defensive badge except off ball. Pest 99 across the board for his defense and a 98 speed. So it's a 7 foot and 7 3 wingspan center uh, with a 98 speed. So it's very, very nice. Now we jump into Victor Oladipo, who is a rewards card for this upcoming season. 97 3 ball, 98 speed, 82 interior. Uh, we'll have a look at his PS5 badges real quick. He does have blinders and Hall of Fame. So take that into consideration. A very, very nice card to have there. Passing Vision 66. Uh, you guys can see that there. Um, but overall, a, a nice card to have. It is a dark matter at the end of the day. So it's always going to be quite nice. Russell Westbrook Invincible. Um, this is going to be an interesting one. Uh, Russell Westbrook on very quick. So he does have that very quick jump shot. I just want to quickly have a look what is the difference between this and his, uh, his upgrade one if we can. I don't know if we can actually uh, look at the upgrade one. We might. Oh, I think we have to do it a different way. Basically, his Evo one. I don't know if it's going to be much different. He does have blinders on this again. So once again, a card that you can use. Uh, but 6-3, probably too short this time of year. But if you're a Russell Westbrook fan, pick him up. Now, the first of the GOAT cards. This is a point guard, small forward LeBron. 99 everything. Hall of Fame badges everything. There's nothing much else to say. Dante on very quick. Is this... Okay, 6-9 at the point guard position. He's, probably, he's the best point guard in the game. I, I like It depends on these layup animations. Long athlete, go-to dunk. The long athlete can sometimes be annoying, but it is overall very good. Thank God he doesn't have his LeBron package on because that is the most frustrating layup package in the game. So obviously these two GOAT cards, him and Jordan, are uh, the best two in the game pretty much. I mean, in terms of... Obviously the LeBron's a bit better than Jordan, not in real life, but in the game due to their height and whatnot. Uh, he does have Jordan on very quick as we expected. 99 everything and a total of 74 Hoff badges, the same as LeBron. Now Anthony Davis, Invincible, card that hopefully will be a lot better than his previous cards. The ones that came out a lot more recently weren't as good. Hopefully this loads shortly. Here we go. So you can see 99 three ball. Everything in the 99s there except for his passing vision and that down the bottom here. Uh, now does he have blinders? He does not have blinders. Take that into consideration. Anthony Davis on very quick and I want to have a quick gaze and see what he is like compared to his fan favorites card actually. We'll have a look and see what he, uh, what he is the difference here. Um, you can see a lot, a, lot of, a lot of bonuses here. Overall 180 attributes difference so he's going to be a much better version of that card and uh, he's going to be a card I will enjoy using if I do have the chance of pulling him or whatnot. Damon Lillard Invincible Damon Lillard got two cards today if you didn't see uh, he's got a 6 foot 2 here 99 3 ball just too small at the end of the day. Every shooting badge in the game are on Hall of Fame, which is awesome. Um, but unfortunately, not a lot of finishing badges there. It is the Invincible, but uh, once again, he is a bit too small. Now, Clay Thompson. This is a card we didn't think we are going to get. I, I don't know if anyone guessed that we're going to be getting a Invincible Clay Thompson. But at the end of the day, this is what we're getting. He has every cut. He doesn't have blinders. Very interesting. This Invincible Clay does not have blinders. 99 driving that 99.3. Very good card across the board. Rim protector. Doesn't have box or worm. So that might be a bit interesting if you put him at the small forward position, especially for me in a zone. Um, however, he does have clay on very quick, so that'll be a very nice card to look at. Um, now, this is the other version of Damien Lillard. Um, just a little bit worse across the board. Um, he's probably going to... He's, he's going to be a buy now, I'm going to assume. Unless there's a unless there's a big reason. Unless he's some sort of... Uh, not a gatekeeper, but unless people really want him. He's not going to be a huge card to get. Six foot two at the point guard position. Not too good there. We'll open up Clay Thompson. Anthony Davis. Another Clay Thompson card. Once again, just... A, a, just the, These two cards here are just going to be worse versions of the Invincibles. If you want a Clay Thompson, if you want an Anthony Davis, go and pick up the Invincibles. That's the only thing. I can recommend. Now, the other LeBron James, once again, we've got how many? This is the sixth LeBron James Dark Matter that we've got this year. Um, it is incredible. No blinders. 96 three ball. Uh, I'm guessing LeBron. Oh, no, he's got Dante on very quick. So this is this is kind of a budgety version. If you want to have him as a shooting guard, if you don't want to pay for the invincible LeBron, get this LeBron. He's got Dante on very quick at the shooting guard position and he's pretty much as an upgrade version of the previous ones um, in terms of badges and whatnot. He's got 66 badges there. Very, very nice. Now, we're jumping to Larry Nair Jr. This is into the Opals now. We'll go through these a bit quicker. 93 ball. Um, let's have a look at the badges real quick. He's got a total of 51, 11 on gold. Um, doesn't have blinders. Rhythm, stop and pop. At least, you know, the catch and shoot, the kind of vital shooting badge he does have. A 90 speed with ball and 94 um, speed there. Jump shot 52 and very quick. That is his regular Larry Nance jump shot. So quite, quite a, I mean, look, it's a decent card. Definitely won't be making my lineup, but it is a nice card. Gail Goodrich at the point guard shooting guard position. Six foot one. 
too small. 993 ball, a good card for challenges potentially, but nothing else really. Now we move into the first official set. This is the oh sorry, the second set. This is basically the um Space Jam 1 cards. I, I personally think they didn't get the naming rights for Space Jam 1. Maybe there's something to do with that. But this is Patrick Ewing. He's a 98 overall opal, so there's no dark matters in the second set here. Patrick Ewing on very quick on on the uh, no blinders there. He's got 95 three ball, 95 uh, 94 speed with ball, and then 95 speed. He does have a 95 lat, so if you want to put him at power forward, potentially have him there. He's 7-3 seven, seven, wings, man. He could play him at power forward, but that's pretty much it for him. Larry Johnson at a small four position. Mr. Al Celebration himself. 95 three ball. Does not come with blinders. Does not come with uh, Hoff Deadeye or uh, Hoff Green Machine. Very interesting there. So those might be some that you have to put on him. Uh, 90 driving dunk. 94 speed. Look, 670. Does have a 16 wingspan. Very, very important there to look at these cards. Now, one of the best cards coming out today, arguably one of the best cards coming out today, is a 7 foot 6, 7 5 wingspan. Curry sliding, Brook Lopez on very quick, Sean Bradley. Um, very interesting card to come out today. Uh, you, know, you know, you can upgrade these these Hall of Fame badges. That's something you can definitely look at doing. Um, has majority of his defensive badges on Hall of Fame there. 95 block, 90 lateral quickness. All right, take that consideration. If your if your uh, coach gives lateral boosts, look at that. If you have a shoe, give him a lateral boost. 85 speed. People have already. You can tell we've had minute bowl in the past. 96 minute bowl. He was able to dominate with a 84 speed or something like that. So this isn't anything different. Definitely looking at picking up Sean. Bradley for my lineup. Muggsy Bogues, look, he, I, I've already seen the comparison to him. He is no different, no different to this Amethyst. Look at this. No, no nothing is different. Nothing is different. Like, he, he, he's plus, he's plus 102, but all it is is his passing vision and passing IQ and putting him at power forward, and he's got seven overall difference. So, not worth it at all, that Muggsy Bogues. Larry Bird, this might be a nice card. Small forward, six foot nine, seven foot wingspan. Seven foot wingspan, take that consideration as well. 99 three ball, as we expect. Does not come with blinders. Does not come with fade That's a ball. That's all right. 97 perimeter defense at the small forward and power forward position. A 90 interior. So, take that into consideration as well. Playmaking badges doesn't have a whole lot of them, and defensive badges he has the key ones there. Um, doesn't have any uh, rim protector. If you're putting him at power forward, maybe not the best idea unless you're having a budget lineup. Now we get into the lower tiered cards here. We're on our last column, our last row here. We got a Galaxy Open 97 overall, Mr. Nick Anderson. 99 offense, 99 defense. 6'6, six, 6'9 six, six, wingspan at the shooting guard position. 96 three ball. Have a look at his badges here. A lot of Hall of Fame badges here. He does not have blinders, but this is a this is a this is a rewards card. 97 overall, and he has a lot of Hall of Fame badges. Take that consideration. 41 total. Not a lot of playmaking badges here, but obviously 97, we can't expect a lot with it now. He's got jump shot 32 on very quick, which is the same as Rondo. Rondo that, that Rondo, that glitch Rondo was very, very nice come when he came out. Now we've got a 96 Dennis Scott here. 93 offense, 99 defense. Bit disappointing on the defensive end here. You can see his inside scoring is quite low. 85 driving dunk. Uh, I just want to have a quick look at his tendencies here. Driving dunk's a 95 tendency. He's got jump shot 30 on very quick, which is the same as Scotty Pippen. Um, look, uh, overall, not a great count. Uh, but in the day, it, it, it's, it's a rewards card. Exchange rewards. You can't expect a whole lot to come from them. Now we've got Brandon Clark, Dario Saric, TJ McConnell, and Luke Kennard. My boy Luke Kennard with the 89 overall here. We'll have a look at Brandon Clark very quickly. He's a 93 ball. He's got a few shooting badges, a few off playmaking badges. But the defense is where he comes into effect a lot here. You can see 95 overall and a lot of defensive badges. Take that into consideration. 90, sorry, jump shot 22, the same as a Jimmy Butler award. That is actually one of the the best jump shots in the game. Jump shot 22 is one of the best jump shots in the game, especially on next gen, one of the best in the game. People can vouch for that. So that's on very quick. So that could be a very nice budget card to have if you are interested. Dario Saric, we've already got him loaded up the top here. You can see here, he's got 93 offense, 94 defense, 87 three ball. Not the, not the most fantastic, but he's got his defensive badges there. For a diamond, definitely worth picking up here. Jump shot seven on very quick, which is uh, pretty much just Saric's jump shot. Not the greatest card in the world. We can't expect the best 89 speed at the power forward small power forward center position here now amethyst tj mcconnell um get, once again a rewards card don't expect these cards to be the greatest in the world jump shot 30 a jump shot 21 with same as kareem on very quick here shooting badges has quite a lot here does he have blinders uh he has blinders on hall of fame amethyst tj mcconnell with blinders on hall of fame so very look out for that card and the best card to come out of the set hands down this is the best card to come out of the set 
89 overall, Luke Kennard here, ladies and gentlemen. Jump shot 14 on very quick, same as the Isaiah Thomas, the level of, sorry, the level one Isaiah Thomas. 96 three ball, four Hall of Fame shooting badges, uh, does not have blinders at all, two defensive badges, pick dodges, does not have clamps, and that is overall our finished video there, guys. Um, what do you guys think of this set? I'm very excited. It comes out in roughly how long for me? In 37 minutes for myself. So I will, I will be looking at picking up a lot of these cards. I can't wait to get into it, guys. Um, at the time of this video's release, um, it will be around 1 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Uh, make sure you guys jump into my stream tomorrow. We'll be grinding this out. I'll be live pretty much every weekend, 2 to 5 Melbourne time, and we'll be going for as many of these cards as possible. I'll be pu pu pushing out as much content as I can and doing these um, updates as regularly as possible. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, we're very close to 22K on YouTube. I appreciate you guys so much. Maybe we'll be to the road to 25K, a quarter of 100,000, which is insane to even mention. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.